morning everyone, Flying Aviator here and today we are at Wanganui Airport. I was going to say a sunny day in Wanganui but she's a bit overcast. It's an opening day and uh, the weather's not looking too bad. Hopefully this will be a nice place to soon. Um, you see some videos that I took from yesterday. So I thought I'd show you some aeroplanes before all the public turn up and everything. So I'm giving a uh, video logging a go, see how it all works out. So let's have a look at some aeroplanes and less than me. So I'll give you a quick look. So I went to Air Tour, this is our XRX uh, also known as the Red Checkers, we used to be flying with them. Um, we've also got a pit special, the black colour scheme, Jag. It's quite iconic, it's flown at a few of the New Zealand air shows. It's a two-seater, highly aerobatic, and um, I'll show you really quickly. You can see inside. You can see there's not a lot of room. It's quite claustrophobic inside that, but the roll rate and everything's amazing on this aeroplane. And you can see the control surface just down here. And we've got another pit special over here, this is a single-seater. And over here we have a Piper Tripo, so I've actually flown this aeroplane, it's a great aeroplane, it's a bit like a flying a vintage car actually, if you're not familiar with the Tripaces. Um, it's about 60 years old I think this aeroplane is. And um, I'll show you quickly inside, hopefully you can see alright. So this, the unique thing about this aeroplane, that's unlike most of these other aeroplanes you'll see on today, is this particular aeroplane. Um, you can actually steer the airplane around the yoke. But also, the tow brakes, if you're familiar with the tow brakes for the braking in the rudder, um, which is that control surface over here, the um, has the other tow brakes. That's quite a unique feature. If the phone's open a little bit later, I'll show you, but I'm just getting ready to help out and do some other work. Bristol Bulldog, as you might not um, don't see those very often. We've got a Cessna 150 that belongs to the uh, Wanganui Aero Club, it's one of the training aircraft. And then we've got a Cessna 172 Skyhawk, this one also belongs to the Wanganui Aero Club. And um, it's steam gauge, it's a four seater. Show a little bit more on that later. Got a turbocharged archer in the background. That's just come all the way from Portland. This is also belongs to the It's a two-seater training aircraft. Got something else. Two-seater. Still open machine inside. As you can see it's awesome. so to work out the rudder pedals other than down there, that's for your brakes and to your yaw for the rudder. It's a two-seater, leather seats, and um, you can see it uses a joystick for the controls. So this is not a yoke, so not all airplanes have yokes. So, um, there's a thing over here, and you'll see some of these aeroplanes flying later. Today. We've got over here, we've got the Douglas DC-3, and that belongs to Air Chathams, painted up in an iconic National Airways Corporation um, livery. That used to be the same livery that used to fly a long time before the day of Air New Zealand. And I'm not quite sure what the aeroplane is over here. If you know, comment below. And we've got also the Saab 340, which is belongs to Air Chathams, and that goes off to the Auckland. That's twice a day from Wanganui. And we'll have a look inside the hangar. So 
tomorrow for the open day here in Wanganui. I was going to say it's going to be a good sunny day, but it's a bit overcast and windy today. But uh, yes, the DC3, I think it's actually based in Auckland. It's owned by uh, Air Chapel, the factory team, um, which is actually the NAC National Airways Corporation, which has been an airline that operated before the times of Air New Zealand, our national carrier. So I thought I'd get a video of the plane taking off and show you around. I don't actually see these aeroplanes around flying much here in New Zealand, they are quite iconic.
this E3 is loading up for its next flight. So they're running ahead of eight. They're fully booked out. And as you can see, the wind, the way this plane's moving around on the ground. So here's the engines that turned up. So the first one, I don't really know about these, but this is an Allison engine. It's actually out of a P40 walk. So this is what they actually look like. So you can see, you don't see these out of the aircraft very often, so this is actually pretty cool. And um, yeah, and this is a ghost engine, which is actually out of Vampire. So this is a turbine jet engine. Another rare aircraft and engine you don't see very often, especially here in New Zealand anyway. But yeah, there we go. Plenty more on display coming soon. Quick snap pick in the hangar. This is a Cat Fox. It's a little bit different to what Tram Palmer uses. This is um, quite an early one. It's a two cylinder, oh, sorry, two stroke. Yeah, and um, over here we have got the Tiger Moth. So I'll quickly show you. Do you have a Tiger Moth? Original wooden prop. Just show you these aeroplanes quickly before the public start turning up in about now. And um, this my friend's plane, this is a Microlite, it's a Bantam, it's a two-seater. Um, it's got a canvas like material wing around the fuselage. You can see it's two-seater. And it's operated with a joystick as well. It's even actually fitted, if you look here. At the top of the aeroplane, like the Cirrus SR-22s, it's actually fitted with a ballistic parachute. So there you go, you don't see that very often. Have a look at the Tiger Moth. Watch the mark on it. As you can see, it's all the push pull system. It's all covered, the tail planes are like covered in fabric. And this is inside a Tiger Moth. So there you go, there's a Tiger Moth. So here's that other aeroplane I was talking about. I can't recall what on earth these are. Let's have a look. 
So we're going to see something quite exciting in a minute. We're going to see the old de Havilland Denim come out. This is actually original. This is not a replica. So for anyone who's watching, this is a Venom, not a Vampire. It does get confused at times for a Vampire, but it's not. They're going to be doing a display later, that's a Cresco, it's an agricultural aircraft, it's uh, powered by a turboprop, and just in front of us is a mall. So as the day's going on we'll show you more aeroplanes, a bit more video logging, but it's just a bit quiet at the moment, the wind's still blowing directly from the west, being a few points right now, so. take off in the season of 150. Aerobat. Just waiting for Jonathan. Sam.
Yeah, there you go, Johnny. got a Chevy motor in it, not a Merlin, but it's still a pretty cool airplane. Okay, so the Smith Martin Shea.
sweet as we're in a 150 here. Um, I'll show you all around the cockpit, eh? So down here, we'll start from the right. We have all our fuses. Then we go to our cabin heat and cabin air. We go to our flap switch, which controls the flap. We have our mixture, which pumps fuel to the engine. Our throttle, which is the go-go juice. The carburetor heat means that it's going to put heat into the carburetor and it's not going to ice up. Our landing lights is obviously landing light. Our beacon light is a beacon. Nav light is obviously another light. We go along to the starter and the key switch and yep, those two. We go up to our six pack now. Um, this is our airspeed, which tells you how fast you're going. Then we go to our artificial horizon, which is telling us how level we are to the ground. And our altimeter is telling us how high we are, down to our climb rate meter thingy. That tells us how steep we're climbing. Then our directional indicator, also known as a DI, tells us what direction we're going. And then we also go to our old turn coordinator. It tells us how level we are in a turn. We come back over here. This is our uh, radio and our transponder. And then these are all other stuff for the volume and the intercom and stuff. Come up here. This is all our fuel and left tank, our oil pressure, our oil temperature and our right tank fuel. And we come down here, our amps. So how many um, amps there are going into the battery and stuff. And also our RPM per hundred metre thingy. Yeah. So you want to explain what these do? Oh yeah. So this is our trim wheel. And this trims out to the aircraft so we can stay nice and level. Um, and then if we go right down to the floor, these are our headphone jacks and our rudder pedals down there. So if you put in the right one, you'll go right, and if you put in the left one, you'll go left. And on the top is the brakes to slow down the aircraft. Yeah. What are these there? Oh, and then we've got our control column. So if we push it forward, we're going to go down, and if we pull back, it's going to go up, and we're going to climb, and then left, right, We'll be turning left and right.
Church to Liberation of the Die in the States. in here so for weight and balance we we'll use on this side here in the luggage locker Awesome. 